Hi, it's Michael Jovan with MichaelJovan.com. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of having an informational website in order for you to have an expanded audience and to connect with your base. So I'm just going to go ahead for illustrative purposes, go to my website, MichaelJovan.com. And the purpose of this website and why I put it together is just to have a little bit more information put out there, but most importantly, the number one focus I want is to have my clients and my audience be able to connect with me on multiple platforms. And so if you are in a similar situation and you're trying to figure out how you can have a better online presence, I would encourage you to actually build your own website very easy. There's a lot of different programs and I have some different tutorials available for that for you. But you can see here, this is a very simple website that I put together. I'm just going to just go through a quick tutorial a rundown to show you the purpose so to give you some ideas and some comparables if you're looking at building your own website so you can connect with your audience so it's very simple I just have my home my about contact and shop so one of the first things that I do here is on the bottom right hand I want to make it very easy for my audience to be able to connect with me and that's going to be very important for you to have your clients or your audience to be able to connect with you in multiple different platforms. So you can go right here, just click on that button and I will come right to my cell phone and I'm able to respond. Um, you'll see here I have my tagline, the greatest teacher is your last mistake. And boy, I do mean that. Um, I have an option here where people can put in their email and subscribe. They can get my newsletter. But most importantly is I do have all my different social media platforms linked to my website. That way, if somebody's using LinkedIn, for example, or if they're using uh, YouTube or Twitter, they can all find all of my uh, different platforms online. My direct phone number here as well so people can get in touch with me however works for them in the best method of communication. I have my little bit of about me page here, uh, just showing a little bit about my background. Uh, one of the things I think is very important that I do is I wanna make sure my clients have the same mindset they're able to set similar goals for themselves. So I did put a little tutorial here. You might do something similar or something uh, that is relevant to your craft or your niche to your targeted audience. So that's some, something that's very useful in connecting and engaging with people online. Again, I go to the contact and I do have all my different social media platforms. I do traditionally speak at different engagements. And so if somebody wanted to actually have me speak at their engagement, they would just send me a message right here. So, um, Furthermore, I do have the shop option because I did want to make sure people have the ability to actually click in and purchase my book on Amazon if they so choose to. Uh, or they can go over here and just have some fun merchandise that I put together and they can support the cause. Uh, in this example, I have the um, a hoodie. They might maybe do a pint glass with uh, my logo on it. And so this is really uh, beneficial if you're just looking at different ways to connect with your audience, to show a bigger foot footprint online and be able to have something that people can relate for you. Now, certainly one of the things with any website is to, to make sure that you have your own individuality. Certainly we want to highlight what's important for you and what's going to resonate with your audience as well. So hopefully that's insightful for you. If you uh, have any uh, suggestions, you go ahead and leave, leave a comment in the sections and subscribe for more tips and tricks of how you can have a better footprint online. Take care.